memory item for stall recovery. Call out, stall I have control, nose down pitch control apply, bank wings level. When out of stall, no longer stall indication, thrust increase smoothly, speed brakes check retracted, flight path recover smoothly. If clean configuration and below 20,000 feet, flap 1 select. That's it. That is the memory item for stall recovery. But I know you are not here for this memory item, you are here for the detailed explanation. Okay, so let me tell you how your interview goes. So generally your interview will start up by asking you uh, what is stall and what is angle of attack. So once you answer this question then he will ask you uh, how do you recover your Airbus A320 from the stall or is there any memory item for uh, stall recovery. Then you will tell the memory item of stall recovery and after that he will ask you some cross questions. So in this video, I'll try to explain these, this memory item. I'll clear all your doubts and cover all the cross questions in this video. Hello everyone, Namaskar. I hope you all are doing great. Let's start this video with the very first question which comes into my mind. That is when you will decide that this is the time to perform this memory item, stall and recovery. So there are three indications. Number one, you have a stall oral warning second you have a visual stall warning that appears on your pfd when angle of attack exceeds a given threshold and third is buffeting buffeting is recognized by the airframe vibration that are caused by non-stationary airflow separation from the wing surface when approaching an angle of attack stall right so these are the three indications now my doubt is should I apply this memory item when all three are recognized or any one of them is recognized. Don't laugh at me because this is the question uh, which also came in one airline written exam in 2023. I think it's indigo. Uh, so the answer is uh, if any of them is recognized you should perform this memory item. Okay. Perfect. Now you know when to apply this memory item. So give a call. Stall I have control. This call is just to notify pilot monitoring that okay we are in stall and I have controls. Now after that my question is what will you do to come out of this stall? If you ask me the same question considering I am just a CPL holder. I have flown only Cessnas or Diamonds. Uh, still, I have some basic knowledge of stall and recovery. What my instructor taught me in my CPL training, whenever you are experiencing stall, it means your angle of attack is reaching angle of attack stall. Right? So you need to reduce your angle of attack. That is the very first thing. Second, you should keep your wings level. Otherwise, your aircraft will go in the spin and that is even worse than stall. Once you have reduced your angle of attack and you are out of stall, then you used to increase your thrust smoothly and you used to recover your flight path, right? That's what you are doing here. <laughs> Let me break down this memory item for you. So first thing, nose down pitch control apply and bang wings level. You are doing nothing but reducing the angle of attack. Once you have reduced the angle of attack and you are out of stall, then increasing your thrust and then recovering your flight altitude and flight path. That is the second step. So second step is recovery, right? This is exactly the same as you used to do in the smaller aircrafts. There is one additional step that is speed brakes check retracted because you don't have speed brakes in the trainee aircrafts. So here you have spoilers on the wings. So here you are checking they should be retracted to get better lift generation from the wings. The one more additional step which you have never done in your Cessnas or Diamonds that is flap selection. So here in 320 you have slats, right? When you put flap lever to one and your speed is more than 100 knots. 
only the slat comes out not the flaps so what does these slats do that is the question they are at the leading edge of the wings and they energizes the airflow so the stall margin increases okay when you have such a beautiful device which can give you a margin to the stall so why you should not use them right so that's why we are using flap 1 but there is a condition the condition is the altitude altitude should be less than 20000 feet because this is the limitation of slats and flaps so you can go and check open fcom and navigate to limitations of your aircraft or you can check out the video about the limitation of a320 now you have a fair idea that uh, what are we doing in this memory item and why we are doing this in this sequence right okay now i understood everything but i still have some questions in my mind so guys please answer those questions number 1 is putting nose down is the only way to reduce angle of attack because i have seen uh, that uh, stall at lift off memory item that memory item does not ask you to put nose down that says put thrust lever toga and maintain pitch 15 degree and that's how you recover in that condition this is a valid question right and the second question is how to identify that you are out of stall because when i perform this memory item in the simulator so that and i started recovering the uh, aircraft i started recovering my flight path then my aircraft went into the secondary stall so my instructor was giving looks to me and it was very embarrassing situation so what is the technique and what is the practical way to avoid secondary stall that is my second question right and third question that is is it true that this machine does not stall like i have heard from so many people that this beautiful aircraft does not stall is it true and if it does not stall then how your instructor simulates this situation okay that is also a valid question fourth is how we can avoid stall like what are the precautions okay so i'll answer myself the fctm says immediate maximum thrust application upon stall recognition is not appropriate due to the engine's pull up time what does it mean the aircraft speed increases when you increase the thrust but that is slow and it does not enable to reduce angle of attack instantaneously when you increase the thrust then you will have to maintain a particular attitude and then aircraft speed will increase that is relatively a slower process all fight is to reduce the angle of attack instantaneously right and even after that these undermounted wings have a tendency when you increase the thrust they pitch up that also prevent the re required reduction of angle of attack so that's why we prefer to put nose down by ourselves okay first question answered now comes the second doubt what is the technique to avoid second stall so let me tell you if you start recovering immediately immediately after you are out of stall and stall warning eliminates you will definitely go in the second stall so fctm says when stall indications have stopped and when the aircraft has recovered sufficient energy the flight crew can smoothly recover the initial flight path now i am confused what does it mean by sufficient energy and how can i know that this is the sufficient energy that is the confusion so now so when you will slowly start increasing your thrust your aircraft will tend to pitch up don't let it pitch up maintain almost minus 5 or minus 10 degree pitch let the speed increase once speed is good enough and your speed trend arrow is showing a good trend then start releasing a side stick and bring it to plus 5 degree that is the normal pitch now what is that speed good speed 
it is around somewhere 200 knots or more than 200 knots although i should not give you a specific number but when speed is around 200 knots and speed trend arrow is showing a good trend then you can release your side stick and bring your attitude to plus five slowly that's how you can avoid secondary stall okay now comes the third doubt does this air cut stall so let me tell you that this beautiful machine does not stall in the normal law the high angle of attack protection become active and the alpha floor kicks in thrust will go toga by itself so what instructor does they put the fac 1 and fac 2 off and you goes in the alternate law you put the fds off and that's how you perform the stall in simulator right you reduce the thrust to idle and maintain a particular altitude and then your speed starts decreasing slowly and then your angle of attack starts increasing and your aircraft stalls and that's how you perform this stall in simulator now comes the last question that was how we can avoid stall in real life so uh, let me tell you that if you remain uh, 4000 feet below your recommended max altitude that will significantly reduce the occurrence of stall warning in turbulence you tell me the reason in comments okay second way to uh, avoid stall is you can avoid the areas where turbulence may be encountered such as thunderstorm cell right and you should also consider the impact of turbulence from the aircraft above and ahead of you any heavy aircraft above and ahead of you will get you in trouble yeah so i hope all your doubts are clear if you still have any question please drop a comment you can share this video with those who are doing their type rating or preparing for airline written exams and interviews this video will definitely help them uh, okay let's end this video my name is abhishek sharma channel ka naam hai flying or peace main videos